TRW, Royalist and Round Heads 1, the uh, scenario, Battle of Naseby. It is the start of the 11.30 hours turn. The uh, first player, first side, first player is the Royalist side here, Royalist Army under Charles I, against a Parliamentary Army under Fairfax here. So first is Command Change, uh, Step of the Order Phase. Players may attempt to change the current commands that each or any of their leaders are currently using. So I'll, I will also use this as an opportunity to review, cur review current uh, orders. So on the Royalist left we have Langdale, Langdale's cavalry wing here. He has a an advanced command. I'm going to leave that. In the center we have um, the Royalist um, infantry and some cavalry. Um, under Astley, right here, Astley with an advance command, which I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave the advance command at least until they push aside the forlorn hope, uh, the three musketeer units here. Um, and on the right, Rupert's cavalry. He has a, an attack command um, right there. He's taken some step losses, but uh, I'm going to leave him with his attack command as well. Now on the parliamentary side, um, is it, I don't see any reason to, to go from stand orders. Cromwell's parliamentary right has a stand order. Parliamentary cent center under Skipon has a stand order. And Ireton, right here, has a stand order. Um, still don't see a reason to change any of these. So that's the command change uh, part of the order phase. So we go to the first player movement phase, the Royalist side. Is anybody out of command? See, the red formation under Rupert here is all together. Rupert has a command span of six. He can trace through these hexes that are in this uh, parliamentary cavalry's zone of control because they're friendly units in those hexes. Um, here, Astley can reach all of his units. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and Langdale, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Langdale can reach all of his units. So now we do movement. Um, with advance order, they have to end at least one hex closer to the enemy. Um, so I'll advance the musketeer there. So they're moving the minimum. I'm still holding back the left. Now Astley is going to get, is going to really um, get up here. So first uh, facing change is free. One, two. Actually, the skirmish unit there does not have a zone of control. Um, And if free one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, or two. All right. They don't, they don't need to stay back here anymore. One, two, three. Here, Rup 
Ripper to attack command. They need to basically move half their distance minimum and end closer closer to the enemy. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. They can go one, two. Go after that out of command unit there. Let's see. One, two. Turn around. There we go. Um, that is uh, Royalist Movement. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Alright, uh, first player combat phase, fire combat phase first, defensive fire. Defensive fire. Well, we definitely have the. Now here. Can they retreat before? Combat because they're surrounded by enemy or zones of control. That I can't remember. Is it any different? Skirmishers. Hmm. Skirmish units, musketeers, bowmen, drag and dragoons moved independently, ignore command shits. Hmm. They may retreat through enemy zones of control. Zones of control and movement. Hmm. Okay. Um. Oh, leaving a zone of control. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is, can this skirmish unit, it's a musketeer unit, but it's a skirmish unit, can this skirmish unit roll, well, first of all, let's see if, these, if it's even relevant, right? We can need a five or a six to retreat. Oh, they get it, actually. So, they roll a five or a six to retreat. They may retreat up to, up to three hexes, from an enemy cavalry or cavalry lancer, you can zone of control before the combat phase begins, but only on a die roll of five or six. Um, now the question is, can the unit move from here to here? Technically, it's exiting a Zoc, and technically, it's entering a Zoc. Um, leaving a Zoc, a combat unit that begins a movement phase in an enemy Zoc may move out of that Zoc if it has a retreat stand, must a reserve command. Now, must... Musketeers and skirmishers don't follow command shits. Hmm. Wonder what's intended there. assume that it can because it's leaving a Zoc and it's entering a Zoc and then it has to stop. Oh, another way to look at they may retreat up to three hexes. He rolled a six which means he, that he can retreat up to three hexes and it says skirmish units may retreat through enemy zones of control. So actually Actually, he is going to go back one more. He retreated through the enemy zone and control. Okay. I guess that's how that's supposed to be done. Um, so that's retreating before 
combat phase as, as a whole. Here it's all infantry, say three royalist infantry. So they may always retreat up to three hexes from an enemy infantry unit zone of control before the combat phase begins. Of course they're giving up the opportunity to fire. Now I don't know, by the way, I don't know, does this mean that the royalists can advance into that hex? This skirmisher unit withdrawal kind of makes sense. All right. I guess so. Oh, man. He's gonna advance there. He's gonna advance there. I hope that's how that's intended. Um, that's it. There's no more defensive fire. Oh no! Wait, that that was all before fire coming. Now we show the common fire. Now we. Well, now they have a target, though. <laughs> what was intended there? That whole retreat before combat is just... I, I don't... I don't get why that was added. You already have an... Uh, well, I guess they have targets now. So even though they withdrew... Edge case, edge case. I'm not even sure that's an edge case, actually. I don't. Fire combat. All, to be eligible, all you need is a line of sight and, and to be in range and have a target in range. Um, I don't see what, what prohibits it. Uh, so here, range of two, they're going to fire straight on there for the first forlorn, forlorn hope here, unit there. Range of two for muskets is just nothing, so he needs a six for a morale check. He rolls one. Um, ne next forlorn hope against this unit here. Adjacent is plus one. That's for range for musketeers. They roll a five plus one is six, which is a morale check. What's so for this one right here? York's infantry with a morale of ten. They roll nine, so they're fine. And here, to Astley's infantry there, plus one for range. Oh, seven. Uh, still for musketeers, just a morale check. It is minus one for being stacked with a leader. Eight, it's probably just fine. Yep. Oh, she has a high morale of ten. All right. I guess that's defensive fire. Offensive fire? Oh, we definitely have offensive fire here. Alright. So again, who you fire at, if you're going to melee, you have to melee that target. So, um, just have to remember that, I guess. I wish there was a, another way. Alright, infantry is five. Five is morale check. Six is, uh, Step loss, so York's infantry back at the Forlorn Hope there, adjacent, four, uh, Page's infantry, adjacent, one, misses, um, okay, Astley's, uh, uh, Hopton, there we go, 
Six. That's a step loss. Yes, it is. Oh, and that actually kills the... Okay, first, uh, first casualty. So he already has a step loss. He has no back. So that means he's a two-step unit. He already had a step loss. Second step loss eliminates it. Um, yep. Definitely. Over here, musketeers against the cavalry. Their range of two is, is no modifier. Three is nothing. And finally over here, yeah. You get a, it's minus one firing through the hedge. Um, oh no, wait, they, they can't hit. That's what it is. Well, they can't hit if they move adjacent. Then you get plus one for the range, minus one for the hedge. Hmm, I guess you should have moved adjacent. Uh, Alright, so that's offensive fire. Now we go to melees. All right, step one. Um, all five melees indicated. Hmm. And I still wonder if they all have to be. I just go back and forth, actually, over the... Yeah. Do you have to pre... Do you have to... Declare them all, all before or not, I don't know. Alright, so, attacker commitment over here, we have two, two, uh, actually they're identical, strengths of three, morales of nine, but I'll go left to right, Northampton A on the left, those are four, they're in, Northampton B on the right, oh, eleven, they're not in. So he is not in, so it's Northampton A, but since one passed, a uh, defender with a morale of nine has to roll to commit. They roll a six, so they're in. Now, yeah, there is no retreating, so now combat rolls. Northampton A gets a three. Ugh, it's horrible. I don't think that's, that's not even going to be anything. And the other side gets a three, that's not going to be anything. Not even going to bother looking. Here, um, these two units. So we have Maurice lifeguards and then Rupert lifeguards. Uh, Maurice lifeguards first. Oh, they fail, so they're not in. Rupert's lifeguard. Oh. They fail too. So that attack just stalls completely into nothing. Here we have three. Vaughn A, Rupert C, Vaughn C. So I'll go Vaughn A on the right. Okay, they're in. So Vaughn A is in. Rupert C next to him is out. Roll a 10, they have a morale of 9. So now Vaughn C is in. So Vaughn C here, morale of nine. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Defender. Fairmuiden B. Uh, oh, they fail. 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so this one right here. Um, they can't retreat. They, this is the only direction. They're, that would be going into Vaughn A's, or Vaughn's cavalry uh, zone of control there. So they take a step loss instead. Now... I guess we still melee. So the Royalists have two plus two for four. Ah, three G's. Plus one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They get plus one for the attack command. 
That's a four, and plus one because her attack Vaughn A is attacking into the flank. So that is on the four to six column, that is a morale check. Okay, so at least we had a morale check. And then Fermoidens gets a three. He's not gonna get anything. Okay, so Fermoiden has to pass more. Oh wow. You already did a morale check this. How do you Wow? <laughs> okay, obviously they must have mean But again, that's not an absolute. It used to be an absolute. <laughs> Units can only make one morale check as the result of each type of combat. This is not the only place in the rules. Now I think I know what old timers say when they say that rules like this, and there are some other bad examples like Sands of War, where they say that the rules are just not tight. So as a result of combat, was the failure to pass the pre-melee check a result of, I don't know. But he passes with easily with a two. Yes, it's all very disappointing. Over here, um, Maurice, nine, rolling eight, they're in, eight, they're in. Queens, man. Every single, was every single melee marred by, see this is, This is, this is the reality of the design right here. So I guess it's just Maurice. Um, eight, Ireton's Cavalry passes. <sighs> Nothing. All right, Ireton gets a six back. Um, they have a stand command, they are defending. So Ireton's Cavalry there gets a plus one, so it's seven actually on the one to three column. Still just a morale check. One more. One more and they would have gotten a step loss. So Maurice passes with a six. Uh, back and forth and inconclusive. I know it's... There are gamers who just toss the game based on that. York... They have very high morale, 10, they, they get a 9, so they're in. Um, uh, pay, okay, Page, at least, they, at least they both get in now. Both commit. Now, just this. Now here, they can retreat anyways. Do they retreat? Do they retreat? Do they retreat? Yeah, they can. They can just retreat if they want. Of course, you're giving up ground. But, why? Yeah, that's exactly. They're just slowing the... They're just slowing the... Royalists down. So they advance and facing change. And that is... That's melee. This routed unit, oops. Routed unit here is part of Astley's command. He is within his command span. His printer, ooh, printer morale is eight. Not so good. Oh, they roll a nine. Plus one for being routed is 10. They fail, they do not recover, and they continue to route three more hexes. One, two, three. Um, but that's it. That is it for the first player Royalist side rally phase.